So the other day I did a poll on my channel and the question that I asked was, do you believe gaming reviewers tend to be biased towards popular opinion or do they provide fair assessments? A whopping 74% said they leaned towards popular opinion while only 2% thought they were fair. The remaining 24% said it depends with comments like it's on their own experience or how much they get paid to review it. I just watch it for the gameplay to see if I'm interested in the game or not because the trailer doesn't give enough details about the game. Wait, is gameplay not a review? Or another comment says, didn't IGN call The Last of Us 2 a perfect game? How is this a debate? Of course they're biased. To be fair, is it not genuinely impossible to give an unbiased review on something? Although everyone is entitled to many opinions about how they feel about games, I do feel as some normally jump on the biased side. Now to clarify, when I say gaming reviewers, it can vary from huge companies to influencers who give their reviews on games, so maybe video game critics is the better term to use. Now I get it, video game critics or reviewers opinions are just that, opinions, and everyone will have a different viewpoint on how they feel about a certain game i understand that but many of them have big followings that could impact the game hard some games definitely deserve the hard criticism but others i feel they were just hammering on the game with petty nitpicking look i said it before when someone is spending their hard-earned money on buying a game they deserve a product that's good quality and i stand by that but sometimes people take that and run a little too far although this video was a long time coming one of the main reasons for making this video and making a poll was the recent release of rise of the ronin a game that i was initially excited about but quickly lost excitement due to the lack of gameplay seriously what was that about team ninja but when the game released it came out to a lot of mixed reviews some harsher than others saying that the game looked like a ps2 exclusive okay i added that for humor but many said that the game looked like a ps3 game that was boring, unpolished, and etc. And it spooked me off, seeing I tried to buy games worth my time. That was until one of my friends decided to take the risk and buy it. Initially, we were using them as a martyr, but he ended up playing it and actually enjoying it. So I followed up, and I can actually say that it's nothing like others were saying. It didn't look like a PS3 game, and it's very much enjoyable. And it kind of caught me off guard, because hearing everything, I thought it would be a letdown, but I was pleasantly impressed. It provides for a fun, in-depth combat system with different styles from each weapon with abilities varying from which starter you choose. Fun online experience that you could have friends help you with those challenging battles and events very difficult experience when playing on twilight which is a really fun time now granted some of the criticisms levied against the game are vile like the storage issue that plagues most team ninja games or even the horse animations which then again aren't as bad and is a small part of the gameplay but the major issues that were pointed out was just greatly exaggerated things like the game look like a ps3 game i actually put that to the test here's a side by side of rise of the ronin and one of my favorite games elden ring and the two looks very similar and Elden Ring was praised for its amazing visuals, and I feel that Rise of the Ronin has an equally good visual. It doesn't have a better world visual, seeing that Elden Ring is more sci-fi-like, but they were going for a realistic feel, and I think they nailed it. Again, everyone has their own interpretation of what they feel a game is or what a good game consists of. It will vary between players alike. Some may find certain games better than others, and that's okay. But when you're saying a game looks like a PS3 game and that it's boring and unpolished, that's a very different thing. Seeing that can make people not want to play that game, having people miss out over an exaggerated experience. Experience. Am I saying that the game is perfect? Not by any means, but am I saying that the game is as bad as people make it seem? No. As for gaming reviewers or critics, I feel they serve as valuable resources for consumers who are looking to buy a game and want to see if they should buy that sad game based on reviews. But I feel many reviewers shouldn't push hard narratives for games based off of many things that aren't actually true. What do you think? If you agree, let me know in the comment section down below. If you disagree, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys think about this subject. This is Sir Khalid signing off. Hope you guys have a great day.